Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. Welcome to issue 16 of the Spinner Rack, where we're going to focus on Power Rangers. Who's the toy? I had to. Don't censor me. He's excited. John is very excited for this part. Po- or yeah, for this. This is my childhood right here. O- obviously, joining us this week is Johnny Freeze, who got a voice now. Yeah, he found his, <laughs> right. he found his nuts. His nuts finally dropped. <laughs> and uh, In yours, dude. Your regular host, Brit, uh, uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> and joining me as usual is Brian Adams. <laughs> yeah. Joining, yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. Ah, ah, all right. It's a long fucking. And we got the in. silent partner in the corny, cor- corny. <laughs> we got our silent partner in the corny. Carry the camera guy. Yeah. Hey. It's the Kaye, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Carrie's uh, just sitting in on this one. We don't want to kick him out. We like his presence. Learning just, about the Power Rangers. He's just hanging out much like John the last two episodes. <laughs> just kind of here. No, I'm really hanging now, out. It's that, uh, this, you know, well, I, you know what? You've already said more than John said in the last two <laughs> issues. I'm going to be real honest, man. The only reason we're doing this... Uh, I am a Power Rangers fan. The only reason we're mainly doing this is because of something you said a while back. You were like, I like when John sits in, but the motherfucker doesn't talk. So this is John's thing. This is his child. This is his Ninja Turtles. This is his uh, Star Wars. You know. See now I have Why to talk. Be Star Wars? <laughs> I See, I can't. Thing, I can't dude. help it, guys. Yeah, I, guess. I won't shut up. When you for your Turtles and your Power Rangers, because me and Brian are not of this generation, this would be similar to, for example, our Ultraman, Spectraman. Whatever, man. In Japan, it's all the same shit. Okay, because oh, we not, never watched the show, so I don't know. I See, like, like I said before, why we. After school, <laughs> you know, this is kind of cool. It's kind of like Ultraman, except gayer. Okay, so but anyway. there you go. <laughs> but in Japan, you know, like in Japan, that, that is the thing. Like, it is Ultraman, Power Rangers, Masked Rider, Common Rider, whatever the hell you want to call it. That's the thing. You know, it's popular. Everyone wants to buy it now. Like, is it geared toward a younger audience? It just seemed that Ultraman, I mean, once again, I was a kid, but Ultraman seemed to be a little the more. A little book grown up. Is it's like, be... it's basically kind of like Arrow in Japan. It's like okay. Arrow. That's what it's gone towards because in Japan, they don't give a shit what kids feel or what parents feel. They'll kill a character just for the hell of it. Dragon Ball Z is pretty death heavy. Okay. Yeah. And, like, they, and they use Dragon Ball Z characters to sell furniture. Yeah. So yeah. like people die in Power Rangers, I may have to watch Well, them. like, in Japan... I yeah, so but in a yeah. soft way. Well, they like, don't do it all graphic yeah. and stuff. Like in Japan, Japan, like, yeah. Yes. In okay. Japan, like... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> right, it's like, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Fucker. That song just popped in my head. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. It's Warren Hill, <laughs> racist ass bitch. <laughs> well, Sorry. Like, I don't care. You're apologizing to me for it. Right, let me ask you something here, John. Is it okay. or is it not true? As I am not a quote unquote Power Rangers fan. If Power Rangers started out as a show purchased by Saban. Mm-hmm. Which I don't know if you're familiar. Saban no. did a lot of the Fox cartoons back in the day. Be- Big Bad Beetleborgs. Uh, yeah, which Beetleborgs. was an off. Wasn't that like an offshoot of? Yeah, Power Big Rangers? Bad Beetleborgs was an offshoot where. Anyway, like literally, just, that's a different podcast. It's totally, it's that, that's a bunch of crap. No, it's Big not Bad a podcast. Boys, that's crap. <laughs> that's, that's the only mention. That's thirty of seconds. It. Never going to hear it again. Fuck Big Bad Beetle fucking Borgs. Hey, that was also my childhood too. So I say, fuck you all of you. I pee on your childhood. <laughs> 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 anyway. So basically, the first season of maybe the first couple seasons of Power Rangers, it was a strict import Japanese show that they slapped American the, actor like kind of melded it. The first the first season was strictly you know they just had the actors film their scenes and then anytime they you know they morphed into action and they were in the costumes, it was all Japan. If you look in the background, there's all sorts of Japanese like billboards, buildings, you name it. It was all Japan. However, in the second season, they brought in you know not everyone knows. The White Ranger. The White Ranger is actually from the season after Mighty Morphin in Japan. It's it's their sixth ranger, so they brought him in as the same. Well, we don't want Tommy, Jason, David, Frank. Check out that interview from Comic Strong Me and Junior did that one. That was a shameless plug right there. <coughs> when they brought him back as the White Ranger, you know, like you couldn't really use the footage because you have two different seasons now. You know, you have one character from the next season, or the current season in Japan at the time, and the one we're doing, so now we actually kind of have to get the costumes. 
we have to get the costumes, we have to get the monster suits, and we had to film it ourselves. So the first season was the only season that used Japanese footage? Basically, yes. Mm-hmm. That was the only one. Which now there's, what, 20... They're on their 20th season. Yeah. But I don't count season 18 because season 18... It was just a revamp. It was a revamp of the first season. Oh, like, with added effects and so, stuff yeah. so like was that. It, so it was Americanized. So basically it yeah. started out as a mm-hmm. Japanese show, mm-hmm. yep. and then it was bought by an American company or whatever, and then they said, okay, we're going to run with this. Yeah. Got it. So they borrow <clears throat> elements. And the thing is, it, you know, it took off, became so damn popular... Anything you'd like to add? No, I'm waiting for you to finish because you no, like that was kind of like a pause. No, I, was I remember the toy line being epically huge and like sold mm-hmm. out. And yeah, parents fist fighting in Toys R Us, yep. you know, over White Rangers and mm-hmm. Green Rangers and shit. Were they dressed as that? Because that would be totally awesome. <laughs> 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 the costumes and fought over. That would have been awesome, but no, unfortunately not. <laughs> See, I would almost watch the show. Equally like awesome. That would have been adults dressed up as Tickle Me Elmo beating the shit out of each other. And stuff. <laughs> that happened no, about the same no, time. No, that would that would be creepy. There, True. There's a I, I'd of, laugh. You know, I'd laugh. Okay. Yeah. So, John, tell us a little bit about the history. W- uh, elaborate. Define history. What came before history? Past like, the franchise. Like the, the history franchise. of the franchise. Yeah. Okay. Well, in Japan, hey, motherfucker, tell me about the Snicker Bar. Japan Power Rangers has been around since. Way, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so suck that. Get into this. In your face, motherfucker! In your face. <laughs> It's not getting me pumped up, but in Japan, and Pine seriously, <laughs> Milky Way doesn't get you pumped up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Pumped up is me. <laughs> <laughs> it's subliminal messaging. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're off topic a lot on this issue. What's gonna happen? We just had two issues of. Nothing. Nothing. Like, we were quiet. Right. <laughs> so I think we're just pent up now. <laughs> so it's just like. Sorry! Why? Oh, Sorry. Oh, I'm like a blank. All right, no, John, seriously, give us the history of okay. the Power Rangers. In Japan, they, they call it the Sentai. They don't call it Power They don't call it Power Rangers. They don't call it any of that. Uh, it's been around since the 80s. You know, they've had... they've had. So it's kind of like Gundam. Yes, you know, it's just been around since, like, forever, forever for them. And, you know, like, in the beginning, like, it was very cheesy for them. Like, the costumes were just, like, you know, like those morph suits you find at, like, Party City. It was just those, and they just, you know, found some crap, put it on there, made a helmet... There you go. And then... The you, shit your uncle wears to your birthday party. <laughs> basically. <laughs> and he blocks yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then, like, it started to build and build, and then by the 90s, you know, obviously, America had taken notice of it, and they said, let's, you know, let's take it, let's do, you know, our little rendition of it. And they had, you know, obviously they labeled it the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but what uh, some people don't realize is as uh, we were filming these... Japan was also currently ending the Mighty Morphin series, so they were, they were moving on to the next season and whatnot. So America was pretty much like a season or two behind. Yeah, they always had to be in, you know, it, later on it actually ended up working for them because since they'd be a season or two behind, they could just say, hey, can we have the costumes or whatever, you know, just like for like a press thing or whatever. Save them money on the budget. Yeah, save them money on the budget, and we're like, please, we have like 80,000 of these. Take your pick. Right. You know, they just kept on asking for it, and you know, they they ended up making it from there. It became huge. You know, they ended up having the movie in August of 1995. You know, which that you know that in its own right made it even bigger. And then that's when you know a child's property has gone big time when they get a fucking live action movie mm-hmm. or two. And, and the thing was, this was actually a good budget movie too. You know, compared to the second movie they did, which was basically just. The TV show, but like an hour and a half. Yeah, basically. You look like you had a question. Brian. I did. I was kind of curious. The movie now, when that came out, what season was the show at? It was between seasons two and three. Yes, it was. But yeah. the movie continuity does not like the movie is it, its own continuity. Yeah, it, they don't, it doesn't they don't even acknowledge it. Yeah, it doesn't uh, tie <clears throat> into the show at all because some of the at the end of the towards the middle of the movie they get the ninja powers, right? Yes, is that the one? Yeah, they get yeah. the ninja powers and then. They become the Ninja Rangers or whatever yeah, fuck they are. Yeah, because, like, like the, the people that wrote the original script weren't the writers from the TV show. Which, you know, they like they, they didn't even collaborate with them on what they could do and what they couldn't do. They just took the basic premise and said, okay, now we made a movie. So is that why they had its, like, own separate villain? Yeah, and basically, yeah. They Rita and... Well, they were in it. it. They, were, they in were in it, it. Yeah. yeah. they were in but it. But they basically. weren't the villain. Yeah, they weren't the villain. They had Tide the News, which was Paul Freeman, mm-hmm. which he's done so much. Right. I can't name anything off the top of my head. So, 
with the Power Rangers movie, what they did was they gave, you know, like you said, the the writers went on and did their own thing. Mm-hmm. But in order to save, you know, make it, okay, how do we make this relatable to our show? They, in the third season, decided to do what the movie did. Ninja yeah. Thing. yeah, and did the ninja thing. So it, they do it their own way as well. Mm-hmm. But yeah. the movie, the first movie, doesn't play into the continuity. No, no, not at all. You Which, can just watch it on its own. Yeah, end. That's, that's kind it. of fucking pointless, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But the second movie was the beginning of, what, the fourth, fifth season? <clears throat> the, uh, the fifth season. Yeah, they, they launched the season with the movie. You had to watch the movie and then go into the Which season. Actually, this, is, this is a little tidbit of information right here. This is uh, the fourth season, the one that was immediately after Mighty Morphin. It, like, it was its own new label. It was Power Rangers Zeo. And that was actually the only Power Rangers season ever to not have the giant climactic ending. It just... The, sh- the, se- the series just ended like, like on a whim yeah it just ended like that and then boom came in the movie mm-hmm. which you know everyone said Turbo sucked which, I haven't watched that movie in years so which I I, I gotta admit you know it, it should have just been well, a it's, movie it's gonna feel different for you because like you, as you stated this is your childhood Mm-hmm. Was that the one that had the cars and stuff yeah. yeah I always felt like that was like a rip off of like the second iteration of Ultron okay Hmm. Well, see, it goes Which back to anyway, so I mean. everybody's childhood. So, like, if they made a movie, you know, like, Power Rangers obviously his thing. You mm-hmm. know, that's when he grew up. Like he said, August 95, the movie came out. They were, what, two seasons deep already? He was born in April 95. So, I mean, yeah. that dates it. Whereas me, like, my childhood was late 80s, early 90s. So, anything that came out, of course, Ninja Turtles my number one, but Transformers and Ghostbusters and all that stuff, and G.I. Joe, that was mine. And, like, Carrie, like you mentioned earlier, the Migos... Migo, whatever the big dolls, the Migos, the, the Shogun Warriors, on that was yours. So I'm sure, if, you know, obviously was a special place that they made a movie. Now, right. I, now I have a question about once again. I, anyone listening? I'm a novice. I've never seen Power Rangers, so I have questions. Okay. Yes. That's absolutely fine. Um. So this thing has been going what? 18 seasons. Twenty. Like Twenty. So, Twenty. In uh, so it sounds almost like Doctor Who. So it's been 20 years yeah. now. So mm-hmm. yeah, every, it turns into like every season. Is a new cast. Okay, so mm-hmm. that's why. Uh, yeah. yeah. Is it does it is it still good? Is it still fresh, or are, are, does it like gradually get worse? The thing each is, season over time. You know what I'm saying? It depends. It it does this. Okay. You know, it's, it comes in waves. Specifically with me, kind of like the turtles. The turtles have always been up there, except for next. Like mutation. I said, I, I'm comparing this to Doctor Who. That's well, what I come on, right. wait, wait. Next mutation is that shitty Saban live action. Right. right. Yeah. So I said yeah. except. Sorry. I said except next mutation. Okay. So, so they change the cast around once again, just like when the doctor, yeah. they need a new idea, they regenerate. Right. Yeah. So this is similar in, the, well, in that respect that they, yeah. they, they revamp it and put yeah. the stories yeah. by changing... The Except story. for the original Zordon saga, as they call it, and that was like the first... Five, six seasons? Six, six, six seasons. First six seasons, up to In Space. So, so is this... Okay, your opinion, because like, mm-hmm. you're obviously still into this. Is it still fresh? Is it still worth watching? Or at this point, is it just something to sell toys? Well, I would say it's almost to sell toys. Okay, so Me- you've got to be a hardcore, like, you've yeah. got to be a John to really keep up with it. I have mm-hmm. watched uh, some of the new, later episodes, some of the newer episodes, I say, they're on demand right now. So I've gone back and I've watched them here and there. And it's funny because I look at it and I remember, because when I was a kid, I was watching Power Rangers. You know, I was coming in from school, right. 2 30. Oh, Power Rangers on at 3. Go watch it, go outside and discuss it with the friends afterwards. Oh, did you see what this guy did? Did you see this? You know, because that was what was in. I can't speak for kids today, you know, because I have a friend, actually, she was telling me that uh, she's trying to get her son into Power Rangers, and he watches the new stuff, and he's, like, going crazy mm-hmm. over it, but he won't watch the old stuff, and she yeah. grew up on the old stuff, you know? So I guess it just depends on what you grow up on. Right. As far as the new stuff, like you said, does it well, the still new hold stuff, up? Well, like, they've completely revamped it, so now it's <sighs> it's like the Mighty Morphin Power for a new age, because... Well, that's what, that's what I was well, yeah. curious about, is it... Is, is, is the show driving because it's a show, or is the dr- or is the show strictly there to promote toys? You know what I'm saying. I would say I, for the toys. I would say in the beginning, you know, it was strictly just like the show. Now it's all about the toys. Yeah. Megaforce, it's just about pushing the toys. That's all it is. Yeah. I mean, Megaforce, they're trying to make it look like it's about the show by continuing the cast for the next season, which is Super Megaforce. That that's a creative name, right there. You know, yeah. <laughs> I in, in all, I gotta be honest. <clears throat> The next season that's coming up. Right now, the current season is called Power Rangers Megaforce. Um, since Mighty Morphin and the original, like you said, the Zordon saga, which was the original story for it, yeah. since then, I've fallen out of it, you know? I I know some of the names, but I've never watched it. Never bothered with the toys, nothing. You know me, I'm a toy guy. It was all good up to Wild Force. If you care, which I'm sure you don't, it's all on Netflix. 
Yeah, it's all on Netflix, <laughs> actually. Um, <clears throat> until, if that says anything about the show, it's on Netflix. For some reason, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the... You know, the interview with JDF, JDF being so social on, on media now and stuff like that, or the resurgence of the 20-year anniversary for Power Rangers. I don't know what it is. But for some reason, I am drawn to the Megaforce. And I've watched it, and it reminds me of Mighty Morphin somewhat, but obviously, like you said, updated. Uh, and I've been into the toys now. But what's got me really excited, to be honest, is the next season coming up, 21. It, like he said, it's super, what is it? Super, super Megaforce. Super Megaforce. Where they're bringing back Rangers from the previous seasons. Mm -hmm. Like the the season finale of Megaforce. Once again, do you think now, that being said, do you believe, okay, now we're going to get some good script right now. This is going to be an interesting show. I don't 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 think think script. I don't think think it's it's ever been good script right now. From what it is. I don't ever think it's been good. Did you ever watch Saved by the Bell? No. Did you ever watch... Once again, what do we talk about? about, You know, saving... uh, Did you ever watch 90210? Way, yeah, no. Okay, picture 90210 with superhero kind and of that movie. is dramatic. Okay, a little bit more free, free more balling, cheese. more cheese, and free with <laughs> yeah, free balling. free balling, more freedom. Not as, not as. <laughs> oh my God, Brenda just got hit by a car. More like, oh my God, how am I gonna pass this test? It's, you know? uh, it's very comparable to like the 60s Batman show. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very, very bad. good. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. I mean, every time someone will get where it's the right writer came fun. along, came along, it'd be good, right. but it's campy, you know. Okay. But like it was, like I said, it's generated for kids. This is a line that the toy company knows is for kids first. Yes, there are collectors out there, but they I honestly do target the kids. Well, take a look now. There's those two guys, and they're making the MMPR fan film. Yeah, these guys go online and they say, "Listen, you know, we want to make this this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers film." For the fans, you know, like the way take away all the campiness. Yeah, basically, take basically, this idea of these su- teenage superheroes fighting this villain. Let's get rid of all the for kids crap oh, yeah. and all the cheesiness, and let's make this serious. Can you really call them superheroes? Yeah, you can. I mean, mm-hmm. Do they have superpowers? Yeah, I mean, they do don't they? fucking shoot laser beams out of their assholes, but yeah, <laughs> they morph. They get the costumes wear. Okay they're just, fighting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's the other ranger. They yeah. save the world, you know? Uh, they put the costumes yeah. on, they fight the villains. Okay. Mm-hmm. The thing is, with these shows, nowadays the audience is so sophisticated. It's like a comic book where you have a whole rogues gallery of villains. Mm-hmm. So every month it's a different villain. Yeah. Whereas back with, and the only cartoon I could remember is, uh, well, no, bullshit. With G.I. Joe and Transformers and Ninja Turtles, those three always pretty much had the same villains. Yeah. Optimus was always fighting Megatron. G.I. Joe was always fighting Cobra. And the turtles were always fighting Shredder. Nowadays, with cartoons, it's so sophisticated where they're like, okay, we need different bad guys. We mm-hmm. need a Rose Gallery. Power Rangers is still the one villain. You know, the they're is, fighting like, the one villain, the but the like, one villain makes little monsters to throw, like minions yeah, and stuff. It's the but overall it's still, villain with. Right, it's always still that one villain. It's very much Voltron. I was saying, well, yeah, well, very I much Voltron. Okay, I didn't watch Voltron, but no. I relate to Spectre Man, I relate okay. to Ultraman. I it's it's very so relatable to Voltron in that, like. The bad guys were putting out row beasts every week. Right. It was different row beasts. It's very, like I said, very different monsters from Spectrum. Man, mm-hmm. here's the mastermind yeah. of his evil lair, and here's the yeah. monster that's gonna. Okay. You know, well, it's I mean, funny because I want to be like Carrie. If I let you borrow my first volume of Power Rangers, would you watch it? He'd be like, yeah. And he sat back on his couch, and be like, all right, put his feet up. Let's watch this. After about maybe fifteen minutes of the first episode, he'd be like, dude, come get your fucking. Yeah. Video. yeah. <laughs> this should oh. not be even in my house. <laughs> It's That's no an acquired taste. Thank you. That was just gonna say it's, it's an acquired taste. taste. You know, you've especially with that show, you have got to have one of the broadest imaginations you could possibly have. That you, you know, have to be willing open to work mind. with the crappy acting. Yeah. If you can look at it in a nutshell, you know, step back like, oh my god, this episode was so horrible. But look at it and take all the episodes, push it back in the overall story that they were trying to tell. Yeah, a massive amount of suspension of disbelief. A massive. Huge suspension of disbelief. Like but the thing is, though, like people also see it as like a joke, and they make fun of it. Like I see, like your buddy is always on Facebook, and he goes, "You know, the Megazord always like fights in the city and knocks over a building, but we never hear the casualties." Are Dude, those are questions you gotta ask. Dude, I love those questions. <laughs> I know. You know, it's like he said, it's like Voltron in the sense that you know they call these Zords. Like you remember the original Voltron? I never watched Voltron. 
the fuck? It was, five, that it was five lion robots. I, See, I know, Voltron, I, I think, was a little more mean. Yeah. Okay, well, other. you know Voltron, <clears> they made up with the lions, they conform yeah. to make the big robot. That's the same thing with the original Megazord, and pretty much all the Zords. Yeah. They each control an individual robot it who can form to so. one mm-hmm. big one. The thing was, with the original Megazord, it was almost so much of a Voltron robot. It almost looked like fucking Voltron. But it was funny because once they called these Zords and they used the Japanese footage of them going into the Zord yeah. or whatever have you, once the Zord was there, that's when they would use the Japanese footage. And it was an actor in a giant suit. In the yeah. giant suit with the you know, to scale buildings or whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. So it was funny because I have a friend, you know, who's you know, when you're a kid, you don't think of these things. And that goes with any uh any brand, you know, it's just like wow, the Megazord's falling over buildings all the time. But that's very Godzilla. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. That's why I said when I was right. 15, 16 years old, and they came out. We sat back and like pulled the bong out and yeah. like fucking Godzilla, but gay. <laughs> Not that Godzilla. <laughs> 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 hey, they're rainbow colors, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very homosexual friend. <laughs> there's, there's, there's always questions like that, and those are the questions you know, just you gotta have fun with the stuff, you yeah. know. Like, one question I always... I, I hadn't posted it on Facebook, but you notice, you know, when they all jumped up and they all got in their Zords, you know, and they're like, oh, you know, Red Ranger, Tyrannosaurus, I'm yeah. pull up a park, and they go in, they show in the Zords, and you remember how the Zords came together and they were all in the cockpit, mm-hmm. but they were all in the Zords? How the hell did all the Zords come together, they're all in the cockpit, but yet the Pink Ranger Zord came in last, <laughs> right. and then on joined the back. Yeah. But yet she's <laughs> always in the cockpit, Robot she's mode. supposed to be in the Zord. Explain that. Come on, Mr. Power Ranger, explain that. <laughs> It makes me miss Johnny Sacco more and more. That's all I'm well, saying. Like, I remember like, a long time ago, like, I might have been dreaming this or something, but I remember, like... Blame it on a dream. Here we go. I don't think I need to know where this is going, John. <laughs> no, we're like, they all <laughs> shook... They, well, like, they the all pink shook. Power Ranger, he's dreaming. I don't Dude, know. the Pink Ranger was hot. You asked anybody. Hot. She was hot. Amy Jo Johnson. Hot. She was hot. And then dead ass Trina. She, Trini. She was Whatever. the one... The Pink Ranger, the original Pink Ranger... Was the one that you had the posters of? You were the one. That was the one where. No, that's not that you had the posters of. <laughs> if you were watching it at the time, you probably would have too. Right. She was hot. She was the one guilty pleasure. You watch Power Rangers? Do they have Pink Ranger poster? Oh, okay. Fucking me, dude. No, yeah, I could. You know, <laughs> it was like she was the exception. <coughs> if you watched it strictly for her, that was the mm-hmm. exception. You could get away with. Did I watch Power Rangers? You fucking kidding me, dude? Pink Ranger. Oh yeah, she's hot. Mm-hmm. She's hot. It would be like was when it. I was in seventh grade. Dudes had posters of Alyssa Milano in their locker. Oh, dude. And it was cool, because Alyssa Lana was fucking She's hot, hot dude. Oh, she's smoking. Totally. But that's, that's what I mean. And then, yeah, you said dead-ass Trini, may she rest in peace. That was kind of harsh. Yeah. You know, you man, move, I don't know if you know this on my Facebook, but anytime someone dies, it's dead-ass whoever the fuck it was that died. Yeah, I didn't know that. It's just, right. like, how I roll. I don't, when I die, you know, and it was I'm going to watch my dead hand up be like, dead-ass Brian Adams. Enter. Power no, Rangers is always one of those that, like, that are debated, like, what dude. happened to the original cast. You know how some people go back Where and... Where are they now? Yeah, yeah, that is always one of the hottest ones. It's always the original cast of Power mm-hmm. Rangers. For some fucking So where reason. is the Pink Ranger? She's actually still acting. Mm-hmm. She just had her first child. Uh, she was on... She, she, was did a lot of, she did a lot of TV movies. Yeah, yeah. She, she was on a show. It was a cop show not that long ago. Do you remember the name of it? It starts with an F. I can't remember I what remember it is. It, you I remember know, honestly, it was a cop show. Like... She played like a Jason David dude. Frank, I feel like give a lot of legitimacy to that show because he was an actual oh, yeah. martial artist. Oh yeah. Well he was a certifiable well, yeah. bad I remember watching that show and when he show showed up, we're like, dude, that guy's fucking bad. Well, was like, yeah. And then he learned about him and he knew like fucking five or six different types of fucking mm-hmm. grunts. Like that motherfucker's a badass. Yeah, dude. like he gave the true legitimacy to the well, show. Well he's like the only ranger that's actually in like a legitimate martial arts hall of fame. Yeah. He's actually in one. Because that's what he does. Yeah. They actually brought him into the show. He was working. He was doing his martial arts. And he was working as part of the production crew. And they need, they were bringing in this new character. And they figured, they found out that how he skilled he was in martial arts. So we want to try out for the part. And that's how he actually got the part. So, because he was saving, he was working on the show so what, as to save money to open his own dojo. Well, remember, he, he originally auditioned, too, to play... Uh Ryan Steele, wasn't it, from VR Troopers? I believe so. Yeah, he yeah he originally auditioned for that. Glad that didn't I happen. forgot about that fucking show. Glad that didn't happen. Wasn't their mentor like a talking dog? No, their mentor was like a computer program. Who was the one that had the dog? It was Ryan Steele. Like, he had his dog, and he accidentally got, like, caught in like, the ray of I'm some so freaking glad beam. I when I did. That's, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the only reason I'm aware of these shows is because they were on Fox and Batman. Batman the Animated I'd get series. home from high school, yeah, yes. blaze, and watch Batman. <laughs> 
Which was the greatest fucking show ever. I, I said, the only reason why you made it past these shows is because you were high as shit. It's totally the yes. I was high off my I, fucking I, ass. I, <laughs> off my ass. I didn't have that, man. Like, I mean, stoned as fuck. You know, I didn't even realize Batman was over here. I'm halfway through Beetleborg's like, what the fuck is this, dude? Back me another bong. It's in my head. Yeah. But, uh, you know, like you said, as far as they are, the Pink Ranger's still an actress. Mm-hmm. Yellow, the original Yellow Ranger passed away. She was in a car accident. Yeah. Um, Billy, Billy. I just saw a picture of David Yost, right? David yeah. Yost. He, uh, he's, he's, still, not a, he's not a producer. He's a producer. He, he stayed in acting for a little bit after he left the show, but now he's mm-hmm. running the show. Well, not that show, no, but, but a show. Well, yeah. Yeah, now he's producing shows. Um, Austin St. John was the original Red Ranger, is now a paramedic. Yeah. And uh, who am I forgetting? <laughs> I uh, just don't know how to react to yeah. the Red Ranger is forced to save you. I, I, right. are you. Are you good or are you bad with this? I, like if, if, you, if I have a heart attack and the Red Ranger shows up, we'd be like... <laughs> Who's going to grab the defibrillators? It's worth the time! Right. Yeah. <laughs> Let me die, man. <laughs> and save your life! And then, uh, Walter Jones. Yeah, the Black Ranger, Walter Jones. You know, how ironic is it that the Black Ranger was a black guy? Yeah, you know what they could... Uh, Saban caught a lot of black people. Yeah. Because it was so stereo- like, it was well, so like stereotyped. Everyone, yeah. The Red Ranger was the jock. The mm-hmm. Pink Ranger was the Valley Girl. The Yellow Ranger was, was the Asian. <laughs> yeah. The Black Ranger was a black guy, and the Blue Ranger it was, was the blue collar working nerd. Exactly. Yeah. I was gonna say something else, but you know. I, I almost right. thought he was gay myself. Which, he was in it's real life. He is yeah. gay. Was he gay? Yeah. yeah. That's actually why he left the show. Yeah. Because uh, uh, behind the, the crew and everyone kept on giving him so much crap and stuff, and they kept. You know, I remember a big thing happening where they were trying to get that show shut down. Because kids were running around saying, It's morphine time! <laughs> Do you remember that shit? It was on the news and everything, dude. Because little kids were fucking it up. Morphine, morphine. Don't f- man, I mean, they try anything. Yeah, you know? it's awesome stuff. Hot, that's the news for you. I was going to say, you know, yeah. but if, yeah. <laughs> but it's you know what? Time. I tune in. Oh. I, I would totally tune in. It wouldn't be much of a show. It wouldn't no, be over a show. I think pass. I'd right? Like, and the yes. monster would just destroy the fucking shit out of the city, you know? And then they have to get a new cast, but I'd turn in for that. Man. Three hours later, they'd wake up. You know, wipe the view off their face. Like, what the I fuck? think I think we have a concept, guys. I think I so. Think, I think it's the next. We need to get that on Kickstarter. There you go. <laughs> Mike so Morphine fun, Power Rangers. So if you will fund us on Kickstarter, <laughs> wait, no, someone actually did that on on YouTube. Did I, they? I looked up like Bastards. Power Rangers parodies. Shit. You know, because Jason David Frank likes to post like those those crazy stupid parodies, like Meet the Putties, mm-hmm, whatever mm-hmm. the hell they were. Fuckers, and I remember man. someone did Mighty Morphine Pop. Mighty Morphine Power Rangers. You know, any anytime you come up with a good idea like that, you can guarantee that some fucker on YouTube's already done it. Yeah. Yep. Well, no idea is original. Yeah, no. So we hope you enjoyed our Power Ranger podcast. Our, That's po- us. our Power Ranger Slam Fest. <laughs> this was mostly Let's done, slam. like we said, for John. I mean, we me and John are both Power Ranger fans, but... Uh, I talked you know, more than four sentences this time. Yes, he did. <laughs> Most excellent. If you have any Power Ranger questions or you just want to talk Power Rangers at all, hit us up on Facebook.com slash Comics Remix. Post on the wall. Email us at Comics Remix at gmail.com. In the subject box, just put John's name, J-O-N, or Johnny Freeze. David's coming for you, man. He's coming. Yeah, on he your is. face. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, fuck you, Sanchez. Why mail is some real shit, bitch. It's real. Ymail.com, the motherfucking spinner rack, yo. The big beat, well, it's the big beat will be in my corner against David awesome. Sanchez. Well, you know, by the time this airs, the match will have already happened. Don't matter. Because Just don't bite it. They can, or- <laughs> <laughs> hey, they can watch the replay. Oh, they don't want to watch the replay. And then issue, is issue, this is 16? <laughs> this is... Issue 16 of Spinner Rack, yeah. thank you for joining us for our <laughs> Mighty more Power Rangers. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> 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 Shoot me up, big guy freeze. Get your dick back in your pants. That's not what I meant. <laughs> For Big B. <laughs> That's fucking Junior. Thanks always. This is Johnny Freeze. I'm Carrie. Have a good night, people. Yep. <laughs>